I am resurrection and I am life, says the Lord. Whoever has faith in me shall have life, even though he die. And everyone who has life and has committed himself to me in faith shall not die forever. As for me, I know that my Redeemer lives and that at the last he will stand upon the earth. After my awaking, he will raise me up, and in my body I shall see God, I myself shall see, and my eyes behold him who is my friend and not a stranger. For none of us has life in himself, and none becomes his own master when he dies. For if we have life, we are alive in the Lord, and if we die, we die in the Lord. So then, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. Happy from now on are those who die in the Lord. So it is, says the Spirit, for they rest from their labors. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, who by the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, destroyed death and brought life and immortality to light, grant that your servant, Elizabeth, being raised with him, may know the strength of his presence and rejoice in his eternal glory, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen. And most merciful God, whose wisdom is beyond our understanding, deal graciously with Elizabeth's family and friends in their grief. Surround them with your love, that they may not be overwhelmed by their loss, but have confidence in your goodness and strength to meet the days to come through Jesus Christ our Lord. You may be seated for the lesson. Our lesson this afternoon comes from the 14th chapter of the Gospel of John. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself so that where I am there, you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I'm going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Ed. Thank you to all those in Zoom land who have joined us today as we say our final goodbyes to uh, Betty, to Mom. It was uh, 1978 when my mother died and it was just a few late years later, uh, Dad and Betty had been together for I think about 12 years and Dad died suddenly, but I stayed in touch with Betty, and we would, even though we mostly lived in different parts of the country, uh, she was in New Jersey, then I was in Massachusetts, then I was in North Carolina, 
and I went to Pennsylvania and she went to California, but we did stay in touch and uh, we would talk fairly frequently and uh, one day, and I, I can't remember what the occasion was, uh, and she picked up the phone and I just said, oh, hi, mom. And she says, came right back, hi, son. So I had a mom again. And uh, it stayed that way uh, right to the, except for these last few months where it was so hard for her to talk on the phone. Uh, the uh, phone calls every evening, I think were a blessing to both of us. It's left a big hole. Yet uh, I keep waiting for that phone to ring at 10 o'clock at night. It doesn't anymore. Uh, it, the call would end and I would tell her I loved her and she would always say, I love you more. Amen. Amen. For our sister Elizabeth, let us pray to our Lord Jesus Christ, who said, I am resurrection and I am life, saying, hear us, Lord. Lord, you consoled Martha and Mary in their distress. Draw near to us who mourn for Elizabeth and dry the tears of those who weep. Hear us, Lord. You wept at the grave of Lazarus, your friend. Comfort us in our sorrow. Hear us, Lord. You raised the dead to life. Give to our sister eternal life. Hear us, Lord. You promised paradise to the thief who repented. Bring our sister to the joys of heaven. Hear us, Lord. Our sister was washed in baptism and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Give her fellowship with all your saints. Hear us, Lord. She was nourished with your body and blood. Grant her a place at the table in your heavenly kingdom. Hear us, Lord. Comfort us in our sorrows at the death of our sister. Let our faith be our consolation and eternal life our hope. Hear us, Lord. Father of all, we pray to you for Elizabeth and for all those whom we love but see no longer. Grant to them eternal rest. Let light perpetual shine upon them. May her soul and the souls of all the departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Again, if you're able to stand, please do so for the commendation. Give rest, O Christ, to your servant with your saints, where sorrow and pain are no more, neither sighing but life everlasting. You only are immortal, the creator and maker of mankind, and we are mortal, formed of the earth, and to earth shall we return. For so did you ordain when you created me, saying, you are dust, and to dust you shall return. All of us go down to the dust. Yet even at the grave we make our song, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Give rest, O Christ, to your servant with your saints, where sorrow and pain are no more, neither sighing but life everlasting. Into your hands, O merciful Savior, we commend your servant Elizabeth. Acknowledge, we humbly beseech you, a sheep of your own fold, 
a lamb of your own flock, a sinner of your own redeeming. Receive her into the arms of your mercy, into the blessed rest of everlasting peace, and into the glorious company of the saints in light. Amen. The service here is concluded, and so let us go forth to uh, the Presbyterian Church in the name of Christ. Thanks be to God. <laughs>